Hi there, so what we have here on this screen is the UJAM Virtual Guitarist Amber. This is uh, one of three virtual guitar engines. It's a VST plugin or um, AU plugin that works with Mac and PC. It doesn't work within Contact or one of the other engines. It's a standalone entity um, which works as a plugin. Um, it is one of the three dedicated to recreating the sounds of rhythm guitars. Uh, Amber, which is this one, is a six-string acoustic, metal-strung acoustic guitar. Um, we've got Sparkle, which is a six-string electric guitar. And then there's Iron, which is a six-string rock and metal guitar. Okay, so what Amber is here to do is it is here to recreate the strummed uh, acoustic guitar sounds that we're so used to hearing in uh, pop folk and rock songs. It is uh, not intended to replace a guitarist. Um, it doesn't have uh, solo phrases. It doesn't have programmable rhythms. Uh, you have to select what it has to offer you and try and fit them into your creative process. But it does that by providing you with a lot of different phrases, uh, loops for once of a better word, which can be played in any key and any combination of chords. So um, it offers a heck of a lot. There is a very small interface you can see on the screen in front of you. What you see here is what you get. Um, in the background is a two and a bit gigabyte sample uh, library, which this engine uses then to play back the sounds. So um, how does it work? Well, um, it's got a series of key switches and you can see the key switches here on the top half of the screen. We've got the orange key switches uh, left and right called common phrases and style phrases and um, these key switches allow you to select essentially the various loops the rhythm styles that the guitarist then plays back to you and on the right hand side of the screen you can see these kind of purpley blue keys from C4 up to um, C6 or actually up to E6 they are the chord selection keys so by playing um, a set of keys on your keyboard so if you play uh, for instance C E and G it'll interpret that as a chord of C major it'll then play a rhythm corresponding to the selected phrase on the left hand side of your keyboard uh, in time with your digital audio workstation so just to give you a very quick example um, I've left all the other settings on this as their default settings I have chosen one of their introduction um, style presets called filler but in fact I'm going to use what we call the common phrases down here and just play a chord for you and there we have an acoustic guitar playing a rhythmical phrase uh, in the key of G ma uh, C major so um, common phrases what are they all about well common phrases occupy this two octave part of your keyboard um, from the C down the bottom C1 up to uh, B2 up the top here and they are phrases or individual strums that are common to all of the rest of the library so no matter what you choose as your style and the style we have here is filler these common phrases will be the same uh, and the reason they are here is to help with endings to help with fills starts and also I, I see them as a get out of jail free card just choose one of these and it'll fit with most things so if you're if you're lost and confused where your styles are going you can always go to kind of one of your old faithful down the left hand side here so ranging from silence which is exactly what the name suggests you play a chord and nothing happens uh, all the way up to the B here which is Kind of a finishing flurry you've got a whole range of um, rhythms in between uh, what the clever people at virtual guitarist have always thought of as well is that you don't just want rhythms sometimes you just want individual strums so the uh, c sharp d uh, d sharp and e here just play individual strums which is a great for an ending that's an up strum sorry that's a down strum an up strum and then a nice slow strum So they play once a bar, so that's a great way of finishing off a tune. And then beyond here, you've got a series of rhythms. Straight fours. Straight eights. Slight 
slightly syncopated. And as you travel up the keyboard, So you can hear we've got a whole range of different rhythms there from straight quarters, straight eighths, um, kind of a muted, very sharp attacked, um, kind of reggae style off beats, all the way through to the standard kind of up down syncopated strums that uh, we're used to hearing um, from buskers and in uh, modern pop music. So um, it, it caters for a lot of styles just in those common phrases there. You could, in theory, just build an entire track just out of selecting those common phrases, no doubt about it. But then what you've got is this second octave in a bit in the middle from C3 up to uh, B3. There we are, C3 to B3. Um, the B3 is a stop, so whatever you're doing, so just hit the stop button and the guitar, guitar stops playing. From C3 up to the B flat here, you've got the style phrases which are associated with whatever style you select up here. So you click on this one and it's, it's obviously going off the bottom of the screen. But if you just go up and down here, there are lots of different styles. So I'm just going to choose um, uh, low strings, slow rhythm, low power, reggae, shank. I'm going to choose one, um, Americana, up the top here. So Americana is one of their selected styles. Uh, you get used to the naming. Um, they are all kind of named according to the genre they represent. So you know, reggae is reggae, and, and the usual styles are the usual styles. But some of them, like Americana, you assume is going to be some kind of American pop rock. So let's just choose uh, C3, and let's play our chord of C. So a nice slow introduction. You can see where this is going, can't you? It's additive, it's good. Nice. So you can hear there, we've got a whole range of rhythms. When you combine that octave with the two octaves below, you've got a massive range just in that one style of the kind of rhythms you might want to include in contemporary music, pop music. Um, there are some folk styles in there as well. So that's the way it works. Play a chord, it plays the chord for you. If I go back to the sustains again here, it's pretty good at recognizing chords. So E major, standard, E, e sus4. Standard G, just play random notes. It kind of works them out for you. Uh, just put your whole fist on the keyboard. It kind of plays a chord. So it's it's pretty good at doing inversions. So I can play all three inversions of D. And it recognizes them all. And um, what it doesn't do is, unlike some of the virtual guitarists that have been around before, the higher you play on the keyboard, it plays different inversions for you. It doesn't do that. What you have got is this low tune button. So, for a player chord of D, for instance, which is fairly high up on the neck, it's got quite a high tone to it. So, you could do a drop D, for instance, which is using the low tune button, and that gives you a much lower pitched chord. Of course, some chords won't work with low tune because the tuning of the guitar doesn't support the low tuning of that particular chord. So the idea is, is you dial up whatever you want from your selection here. Um, so let's just choose ballad groove, for instance. You find the chord you like. Let's just say that G there I like. Funnily enough, I don't, don't really like that one, but...
and then you use it to uh, to write your song. It synchronizes perfectly with your digital audio workstation. And I'm just going to choose, let's just go to filler again, because I quite like filler, um, and just choose the, the root note there. Now we've chosen the sound we want, and we've got our rhythms all programmed in, and we know where our key switches are, you've then got some other options. Over on the right-hand side here, you've got the swing. As you dial in more swing, the uh, engine swings the rhythm for you. You've got a latch option, which is actually quite nice. You can just press a chord and it'll carry on playing until you hit the stop button, which is quite handy. And then turn the latch off if you don't want to use that. It's got a speed control that allows you to play at half speed, one speed, or twice the speed. So twice the speed is fairly obvious. And then half speed. And actually, they do sound very good. You don't get any kind of weird phasing or, or strange sound. And then you've got the feel, which allows you to push or pull the rhythm forward or backwards on the beat. Um, so to do this, I'm just going to play a rhythm with some um, drums and some bass as well, and just play with that feel as it's, as it's playing. So I organize a chord sequence in this one. I've taken it to its extreme and you'll see the guitar is lagging behind. I push it slightly ahead of the beat. So you, you can use that really nicely, just to kind of push that guitar into the rhythm a little bit. So that's the top half covered. Uh, you've chosen your rhythm, you've played your chords, you've recorded your pop song. Um, now what you've got is this bottom part of the window, which has a whole load of clever features um, to be able to get the best out of your guitar. Um, the first option is the position. So I'm going to go back to a, um, a normal strummed, just a single strummed sound here and just play a single chord of C and you can hear with the position what that does to your sound. So this is central position, dial it backwards a bit and then forwards So you can hear towards the front position here, you get a much lighter tone, less of the uh, boomy warmth of the guitar, and then towards the right hand side. So the left hand side, you get a, a much richer, fuller sound as you'd expect if you moved up the, um, the fretboard a bit when you strummed. Next to this is our tone control. The tone allows you to choose between warm, full, flat, bright, and crisp. And I'll just show you what they sound like. This is warm, full, Flat, bright, and crisp. So lots of tonal variation there. Basically, it's applying a, an, EU, an EQ sweep on it, but that's actually quite nice. So let's leave it on full or flat. Flat, nice bit of highlights on that one. And on the far right here, just next to the logo, you've got a choice between the different sources. So we've got a mic source, which is just a stereo mic recording, which is lovely. You've then got a piezoelectric pickup. I love the tone of the pickup, it's just really, really nice. And then you've got a mix between the mic and the pickup. You can't control the mix, but it's kind of half and half. So it gives you a little bit of that warmth of the mic and a little bit of that kind of nice kind of electric sound of the pickup. And then this is actually quite a cool one, the split LR. You can just hear that in stereo, probably on this YouTube video. It plays the mic through one speaker and the piezoelectric through the other speaker. So then you can actually, in theory, mix these outside or just use them to, to spread the stereo feel. When you play a, a chord sequence with that, it actually sounds lovely. You get that lovely stereo feel. You probably also heard there's a slight touch of reverb on this mix. I'm going to put this back to mix, actually. And what you've got down here is a setting for reverb. So that while we've got that playing... You've 
you've got full control from totally dry to very wet or somewhere in between, which allows you to add a little bit of reverb. You can't play with the algorithm of the reverb, but that's what you've got. You've also got some a chorus. just for fattening up that mix a little bit. And you've got volume control. And then on the right hand side here, you've got your shimmer. Uh, shimmer is essentially a bit more EQ boosting. So if I play a little chord, uh, let's just choose a, choose a phrase, which is nice and easy. So let's choose that phrase, um, play a chord. you notice the shimmer just brings up the high end a little bit, irrespective of which one you've got the tone set on. So even the tone on warm with a bit of shimmer. It just boosts that top end. And that really allows you to, to let your guitar kind of really come out in the mix. Often, quite often, when you're at home just strumming on your acoustic and you record it, and then it's just kind of dead behind the mix. So it's quite nice to be able to bring that out. Um, down on the bottom left here, you've got a choice between turning on and off fret noise, so we'll leave that on. And that'll in introduce a little bit of fret noise when you change your chords, which is quite handy. The low tune we discussed a bit before. And then, of course, the classic doubling, uh, where you're essentially uh, stereo spreading your signal a lot more and adding an, uh, an extra level of uh, tonal quality. So if I turn the doubling on, you can hear immediately. You've got a whole wide sound there, so you've really improved the quality of that of that sound. And then finally, you've got your delay in the middle here, and the delay is set up to be 30 seconds, 16th, 16th dotted, eighths, eighths dotted, or, or quarter beats. And you can just dial up your delay. To a level that fits your mix. Um, you can't really control the... Um, the repeat level or the EQ or anything on the delay, uh, just as you can't control the chorus or reverb. But the people at Virtual Guitarist have chosen one that really works very well. So um, that is Virtual Guitarist Amber. It's got a, a whole host of guitar loops, and I'm not going to go through them all now. You can select most rhythms that you'll ever need to play um, from the style phrases and then the common ones that you expect to use more often than not in the common phrases. You can then choose any chord, any uh, combination of chord, key presses. If you're not a guitarist or don't understand chords, you can just play a note like C, G, E, F, whatever, and that'll just play a C major, E major, G major, etc. So that's really handy as well. And a little trick that you have to read the manual to find out about is that the mod lever controls muting. And it took me a while to find this. Um, I was playing with the mod lever by accident and I suddenly found this appearing. So. If you've got a rhythm playing, so this one for instance, and you push the mod lever forward, you get this muting effect. Which is brilliant, um, absolute genius. So when you're playing your guitar, let's go back to that um, little rhythm we had playing before, and I'll just move that mod lever up as it's playing. So this is nice and open. Now let's mute it a little bit. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I really love this plugin. Um, I think it is a most excellent guitar. It's brought to you by the same people, I believe, that originally brought out the Virtual Guitarist along with Steinberg and Wizu all those years ago. Um, and it is brilliant. Um, I've got a lot of contact rhythm guitars. We use the Native Instruments strummed acoustic guitar, volume one and volume two, a lot, and they are very handy. Um, they offer a lot, yes, they've got a lot of different rhythms. This has got different rhythms again, so um, I'm not a good guitarist, and this is going to really help add some um, some nice acoustic tones to those uh, tracks that we produce here.